Well, welcome back to another episode, guys. Today, Dad just hooked one. What you got there? What have I got? It's a tree limb. That is the finest piece of driftwood I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a tree pounder. That felt just like a fish. <laughs> it's a tree pounder, dude. It loaded up like a fish, too. I seen it hit it. You hit that, that thing hit that line, it goes doing. You may be a goober if you <laughs> fight a piece of driftwood to the boat. <laughs> It's a 10! It's a 10! Get the net! I thought that was a good one. Hey, it's a tree pounder. Up. It loaded up. And it's, a tree pounder. it's a tree pounder. And if you're Ben, it's a 6 or a 7. Stupidest thing he's ever said to me. Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode. So, we've already been fishing today, and I botched the intro for, because I forgot to turn my mic on. You're a dumbass, Alex, and you catch small fish. So, I'm re-recording the intro now, but we've already been fishing. We've already caught some fish, but I want all that to be a surprise, so we're not going to talk about what's happened. I will just say that this old geezer right here has been laying the wood to me this morning. He's been whooping up on them, but we're staying after it, just waiting for that wind to start blowing. If that wind will start blowing, I got a feeling these fish will start eating, but amazing day outside just absolutely beautiful these fish are moving up they're getting ready to spawn i mean it is full-blown springtime in east tennessee in the south and it is time to get out there and catch some fish and so that's what i've been trying to do spring's been treating me pretty good so far i mean i've caught them with caleb caught them with dad we just caught them and caught a lot of good sized fish too but yeah so uh we're gonna try to not go catch any more tree pounders or sticks or sevens and uh now i would like to catch a seven That'd be alright. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. Hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode. You're gonna get a strike out in rock put it under. There he is. Got him? Yep. Good? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that a boy. Yeah. Dude, he ain't a giant, but dang, that's fun, man. God, I love when they eat that jerk bait. God, that is so much fun. Got it. There it is. That one dives the same as that silver one? Yeah. There you go, guys. Fun, fun, fun. There he is. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. Smallmouth. He's, right. He's a smallmouth. He's just mean. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't even big. He's just pissed. Look at him. Mm -hmm. God, that's fun, dude. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Look at him, dude. He's a brick. <laughs> He's a little brick. Look at him. <laughs> Dude, he was, man. They crushed that thing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Something I've been wanting to share with you guys, and I was going to make a whole video about it, but honestly, I don't think it warrants a whole video. So I'm going to talk about it right now. There's two humongous things that I do that I feel like puts more fish into the boat for me. Because getting the bite is half the battle. The other half of the battle is making sure that every thing that is under your control is at its absolute best. So two humongous things that I do when I'm fishing is retie a lot because I am fishing fluorocarbon. It doesn't matter if you're fishing fluorocarbon, mono, copolymer, braid even. Retying is just super important to making sure that you're not breaking off your bait or that if you do hook a really big fish that he's not going to break that bait off. And then number two is switching out those hooks. Now there's a lot of good baits and a lot of good brands that come with good hooks, um, but not every company comes with good with good hardware. And so on this jerk bait today, I'm fishing some KVD Mustad triple grip pins. Um, I like them on these jerk baits. I like them on a lot of my reaction baits just because that EWG style seems to get them a little bit better. Um, but other baits that I throw, you know, I'll throw that kind of hybrid round bin EWG that owner makes. But three times switching out your hooks, probably two of the most important things that you can do while bass fishing. Because like I said, getting them to bite's half the battle. The other half of the battle is just getting them into the boat and keeping them pinned. And I think a lot of people lose fish and don't have a ton of success because they're not worried about their terminal and they're not worried about their knot. And that's where you hear about people having fish jump off and having people 
breaking fish off is because they're not retying enough and they're not switching out those hooks and putting really good terminal on them. That's a dang gone good one. That, you got him hooked side. Nope, that's a good one. I'm over here messing with the freaking crappie and dad's catching five pounders. Dude, that's a good one. That's a good one. Just keep him coming. You got him pinned, dude. He ain't coming off. Dude. There we go. Hey. Good job. My jerk bait hit the mud. I felt him. I see him rolling around up there in that mud when you hooked him. Dude, that's a daggum chunk. Good job. Good job. What a pretty fish. Look at the belly on that thing, dude. That's awesome, Here. man. Want your picture? Get back in there, girl. Go make babies. Uh, job. That was fun. There we go. Drama thing. Nope. A little large mouth. <laughs> That's funny. That's an awesome. Yeah, he's little, but he's a chunk. Fucking keeper. Nah. He popped it, dude. He's mean. Look at him. Little mean ass. Get out of here. So let's talk about what I'm throwing, what I'm throwing at, and kind of what we're looking for out here today. So me and Dad both are throwing KVD jerk bait. This is the three hook version. The normal diving version not the deep diving version i'm throwing chrome tennessee shad he's throwing sexy chrome shad or chrome sexy shad or chrome chrome seems to be the deal today they want to be eating that chrome uh, i'm throwing that on my 6.8 lose tp1 black with some 10 pound fluorocarbon and a lose lfs 7.5 to 1 gear ratio and uh, just throwing it up in these rocks and then clay mud anywhere that is kind of a transitional area where it transitions between rock and clay or wherever there's an area where there's clay and rock mixed and then some of these fish are just laying up on nothing but just clay banks these fish are getting ready to spawn is what they're doing the water temperature is 69 degrees we got a full moon that's coming tonight and uh, these fish are just staged up here pretty much as shallow as you can get that big one that dad caught was literally so shallow i don't know how we didn't see its back sticking out of the water um, but these fish are just eating and eating and eating right before they have to go on the bed. They know that they're going to have to be on the bed soon and there's going to be a prolonged period of time where they're there where they're not going to be able to eat or where it's not going to be optimal for them to eat. And when it gets like that, man, they just munch. They try to get those bellies full. It's almost like a bear getting ready for hibernation. They know they're not going to eat for a while, so they stuff themselves. And, you know, they're looking for those bigger shad, those bigger crawdads, those bluegills, those things that are protein rich it's going to be worth actually going after and uh that's what we're resembling with this this bigger three hook jerk bait it's just a big shad profile it's you know reactive we're trying to get them to react to it and that's probably one of the best baits that you can throw in the pre-spawn to get a big reaction is a jerk bait you know and today's a little weird uh, usually I would say follow the wind when you're on a jerk bait bite. Well, the wind is not blowing today, but they're still wanting to eat this jerk bait. We're getting them to react to it. That chrome color, that flash is what's getting them to react. And honestly, this bite would only be better if the wind would actually blow. And you know, kind of what we're doing here is we're just trying to pick a few of these fish off as we go. It's definitely not as consistent as it was the other day, but again, a lot of that has to do with the wind blowing. So hopefully it looks like there's a little bit of cloud cover moving in here that this afternoon the the wind will pick up and we'll be able to really kind of find these fish concentrated in an area but for right now i mean we're having fun we're picking through them uh you know dad's got that one that's over three that dude with that mercury over there is making a lot of noise <laughs> and we're just gonna... <laughs> and we're and we're gonna uh we're just gonna keep on uh we're gonna keep on keeping on here and see if we can pick a few more of these fish off because they all seem to be quality oh, just fun he just blew it up. He just, he just took his lower unit out. 
Oh god, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god Ugh. tell you what guys figuring out kind of piecing it together the wind would just blow i swear if the wind would just blow it'd make it so much better but it's starting to a little bit i think there's a little bit of a front some cloud cover moving in i think with that there's gonna be some uh some wind come along and i think that's when it's going to get a little bit better but i just wanted to take a moment and tell you something that i miss and all this coronavirus crap that's mexican food i don't know about you guys but i miss mexican food i want some chips some salsa some queso tacos quesadillas i mean anything i don't really care what it is i just want some mexican food go down in the comment section tell me if you guys miss Mexican food as much as I do. <laughs> Dad's not happy that we don't get Mexican food. He's already threatened to throat punch me once. And you know, you know, I know what you're gonna say. Alex, why don't you just order some Mexican food out? It's not the same. It's not the same. You can take home Burger King. You can take home McDonald's. Hell, you can take home a Taco Bell. But there's nothing like sitting at the Mexican restaurant with bottomless chips and salsa and having someone bring you out a poppin' hot big mix burrito smothered in cheese <sighs> it'll be back eventually eventually there we go yeah that's, yeah, that's a really good Huh? Did he stand up good? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. Damn, dude. Don't matter if he is or not, he's coming in the boat. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Seven and a half, right? Yeah. Golly, he got that thing good. Uh-huh, dirt. There we go. Dude, what a quality little fish. I'm like the king of catching them about that size on this lake, you know? Big fat belly, just a Good. square. That's fun, man. I need, scale, dude. I need to bring mine next time we come. There he is. Yep. You pin? Yep. That's another right one. Good job, Thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a chunk, dude. Yeah, he is. It's probably two. God, dude. Calm down. Tell you, that water hits 70 degrees and they get meaner than a turd. Look at, yeah. Like that little shot of oxygen there. Alright guys, so we're going to end today's video right here. I have to say it was a pretty good day. Dad put the old uh, quahatus on me. He caught about five more fish than I did, but I'm telling you, it's this freaking fun. <laughs> we're stopping that jerkbait. I mean, I, it honestly, like if, if they're going to eat a jerkbait, that's how I want them to eat it. That where you're popping it, popping it, popping it. It feels like you pull into a rock and then you start feeling a head shake. It's just freaking fun. But um, me and old Paul both caught all our fish on kvd three hook jerk bait i was throwing tennessee shad chrome chrome tennessee shad he was throwing chrome sexy shad um, both of us were throwing it on a 6.8 medium moderate fast action lose tp1 black lose lfs six or seven five one to gear ratio and some 10 pound strike king fluorocarbon literally we we're throwing the same exact setup to catch those fish so ton of fun just happy that it's finally kind of starting to happen here in Tennessee because it was a long wet winter and it sucked and uh, this past few weeks is, is really made up for it but yeah so as always guys thank you for watching questions or comments you know where to go leave them go down in the description I have links to the rod the reel the jerk bait all that kind of stuff and as always you guys are sweet thanks for watching <laughs>